And we're back for more Gauntlet 4. I didn't mean to pause. I don't know if I've ever shown this off. This is a password system for the game. And the top bits for your individual character saves your stats and name and everything. And then the bottom ones just for this particular tower. As long as you don't completely turn your Sega system off or turn off the emulator, it'll save all your passwords and you can come back if you want. I think I'm going to go here. You can also go to the magic room out in the player hub and kind of change your passwords if you like and open up different files. I really want these generators to go away. There's also a thing you can do with the magic room out there is kind of reset the towers. Once you've visited the magic room and you go to any of the towers it'll ask if you want to input a password and if you say yes it'll put in or oh, oh no I missed I didn't get the trap oh well let's see we're kicked out we have to go back up and do that all over again pick up some food let's try that again As I was saying, that's a way you can kind of reset the tower in order to kind of grind for experience. That's what I've done before with the last, not tower, but the last castle. I guess there's only one castle. Oh, they're all lined up now. And I'll go through that last castle, kind of clear everything, reset it, do it again. In doing that, I was able to get a character up to like, gods, it must have been like 30,000 HP, maybe more, maybe it was only 7, I'm not sure. What do we want? We want the mirroring, no, that's not the one, the fight ring. I don't know, no, we don't have to worry about that. Oh, that one, there we go. And we're going to go this way. Which doesn't do much. We need to come at this from another angle. At least we're done with this hallway. Yeah, that's one way you can grind for experience. It's kind of not very good to do that early on. Because a lot of the... You just don't get very high mul bonus multipliers. And after a while you wouldn't be bringing any stats up very quickly. Even doing it with the castle after a while you just... You, it, doesn't give you the experience you need to do it very fast. Speaking of, we have enough to add... No, I don't want to add any speed, but I'm going to do this one. I'm kind of running okay. After a while, speed isn't too much of an issue. Okay, we don't want that one, obviously. It would be nice if we can collect all that treasure, though. Downstairs, downstairs. Can I skip this. There we go. I'm gonna go this way. Forgot about that one. Hey, food. Come on. I wanna float over that and get that potion. And now, now you're just kind of stuck going wherever the teleporters take you. Sometimes you go one way, sometimes the other. At least they're all kind of confined. Oh, this is a tough one. There we go. If you've got more than one player, you can also kind of lead the screen to where you want to go. Oh, I knew that was trap. And doing that you can kind of block off one teleporter and force it to go to another one. Potion and see if I can get out of here without any trouble. 
There's another one this way. I'll probably go take out all those generators again. Kind of don't want to, but that is a lot of generators and should give me plenty of experience. Stop. There we go. Treasure. I think really the only way to get that treasure is first you have to hit the right traps in the right order and then you'd have to go back and grab the treasure and you'd end up having to do this floor you know, two or three times just to get it all. So that one finally opened it up but we've also cleared the floor now. Let's go back to those generators quick. Food. Time to ignore all the demons if I can. No experience from them. Oh, stop. Okay. And that should do it. Downstairs again. Probably want to take this one here. Just make sure. There's a corner in here as well. I'm going to take this one. Hopefully it's a good choice. I can't quite tell. I don't like those lovers. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. No. Rejected. Oh, there we go. Ghosts. See some long hallways with no shot tiles out over there. Demons, you better not destroy my food. Yay. Yeah. Kind of surprising that wasn't hitting me earlier. Yay. We're back up to right stop. Almost spells out. N A F N A H U F something. Hmm. There's a couple spots like that in the game where the walls seem to spell something out. Not sure what it's related to. Let's see which side you go to. It's the side I wanted to be on. Those teleporters. I'm pretty sure we can clear out this whole floor in one go. Spawning now. This way. I was hoping that was the normal treasure. There we go. Another trap. And this way. All the way through. Hit that one. This way. Oh, not good. Can't shoot. You can go this way. I need to get down there, and obviously this hallway is going to be a problem with that. I'm going to stand here where we can shoot. I'm going to reduce our shot speed way down, so we can follow it and do that. I can bring it back up to where we had it. One of those little tricks where if you weren't thinking of a way to slow down your shot speed, you might have run into some trouble with that one. I'm going to hurry up and clear this floor and stop this video. Get up to that top half. No, there we go. And generators. One more. There we go. And we can stand here and take that one out. And actually, it looks like there are no trap tiles over here. Just experience. There's a trap treasure. 
a mimic, whatever you want to call them. No, I want to go over there. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it puts me in that corner instead of on the treasure. I'd much rather be on that treasure where I can defend myself. Nothing over here either. I think we're going to take that staircase in the next video. We start the fourth floor of the water tower. We're a little more than halfway to the dragon. We're just about into the castle. We'll see you with that video. Bye!